Good morning, family. It's the Mobile Home Diva. And it is Monday morning. And we had a storm last night, a bad storm. So I'm just walking outside to um, just check everything out. We, um, as you know, I live in Georgia. And um, middle of the night, we had like tornado weather. We had tornadoes um, watch, uh, severe thunderstorms. On a scale of one to five, we were a number four. And when I went to bed, it was just raining, maybe about 10, or, well, it was 11 o'clock because my husband worked last night. His first break is at 11 and I always stay up until he calls. So I went to bed right after I talked to him and it was just raining, but I left the blinds open so I could see outside. And when I tell you the lightning was so sharp, the thunder was so loud that it was waking me up. It was horrible. So um, it's eight o'clock. I've been working about an hour and I just went to get a cup of coffee and decided to come outside and just take a look around. And just right off the bat, I don't really see um, any damage. So I'm happy about that. But here, I'll turn you around and let you see what I see. Um, it's just really wet out here, as you can see. It's super wet. Birds are chirping. Can you hear them? They just singing to me this morning. Uh oh, excuse me. They just singing to me. Oh, now you can get a better view of what the yard looks like. I don't know what was going on with my camera, but those are my hostas over there. I don't know if you can really see them but I'm not walking in that wet grass let's see if I can so there are my four hostas I probably should have put them closer to the tree so they can spread down I don't know if they'll spread back but anyway I need to get back to work so let's go take a look it looks like um that short pole right there you can get a better look at my neighbor house why are we trying to cover it up that pole has a little damage to it it's it's twisted it's not like it was but that's not bad that's an easy fix all of the rest of them look good we started putting the pickets up but we didn't get far we decided to rest but yeah, the yard is good. I still got the light on. I got to cut that off. I don't really see any damage out here, so that's good. We had an uneventful night. Just sounded real bad. I almost forgot. I got to mail my letters. Over the weekend, my husband and I um, we're looking for opportunities to we were looking for opportunities to reach out to family friends loved ones neighbors and just send them some encouragement so as a part of our ministry this weekend we wrote letters we got about 15 letters written I even um, wrote my supervisor <laughs> did one of the things that we did over the weekend it was really nice to sit down as a family and write letters I'll insert a clip here so because I took a picture of us um, writing letters we got dressed as if we were going out in the ministry and we sat at the table we had some music playing candle burning and we wrote some letters so, so I just wanted to check in and make sure that you guys were okay as well. I don't know how many of my viewers were affected by the storm or even felt the 
any of the lightning and thunder or anything like that but not knowing if there's going to be a tornado come through your area being a new homeowner worried about your property worried about your life it's scary and you know watching tv the news always hype stuff up sometimes a lot worse than it's gonna be and i'm grateful because there are times when it's spot on and we are affected in a tremendous way but i'm just grateful that all of the fear that i had last night was for nothing but let me show you my husband was so worried about leaving me at home he made a comment that touched my heart he was like he was like, I don't care. I said, get the house. I said, I'll be fine, honey. He wanted me to go to my mom's house and spend a night. And I said, I'll be fine, honey. Don't worry. The house will be here when you get back. And he was like, I don't care about the house. I don't want to lose anybody else I love. Aww. And you know his brother just passed away. So that was very touching. Let me show you what I did okay so I went around and found as many candles as I could and I know they're not big but um I found these and I put them all over my husband found this little radio and he put it out and this is why he likes it let me set the camera down and try to show you so if you Push that button. Here, let me show you. It's kind of awkward, y'all, with the camera just sitting on the island. So let me come around. So here's the wine. And if you wind it up, the light. See how the light came on? But not only the light. When you wind it up, the radio comes on. So you have to... We have found the channel. I don't know what happened to the channel, but um, let me turn it off. Okay, so if you have it, the flashlight off and you wind it, it's just doing the radio. But it's also solar pop powered, so if you sit it out in the sun, it'll constantly play. Um, but he had this in here somewhere so he said he laid that out he also laid out a lighter for me to easily get to and then he wanted me if anything happened to come to this bathroom because it's in the middle of the house so he put a good flashlight here i had a candle in here and then he wanted me to get in the tub and this pot would be for my head so you guys if you're in a tornado you always want to cover your head and so as you can see the pot is big enough to go on my head and so um i thought it was really sweet of him to make sure that i was okay um while he was at work and he also asked me to text him if I was up during the storm and let him know what was going on. So I texted him, I talked to him at 11. The storm woke me up one something, but I checked the, um, I checked the news app, which he also made me download on my phone so that it would alert me if there was any weather updates, which it did. It sent a text alert it sent a really loud alert um, every time there was an update and they were updating pretty frequently. It didn't really disturb my sleep, but it was, I, was, I was really grateful. Sorry family, I had to switch over the voiceover. I don't know um, what if I was sitting my camera on something that was causing a lot of vibration, but I just, I didn't want to put you through all the background noise. I was just telling you how grateful I was that number one, my husband um, 
made sure that I was okay. Even though he couldn't be home, he took a lot of measures to make sure I would be safe around the house. Um, and also I was really grateful that regardless of what we couldn't control, everything turned out okay. Um, the storm was really, really scary. It was really scary because it was sharp, sharp lightning. Um, things were crackling and popping and at times the thunder sounded like a train was coming through the house and it's just been a long time since I experienced that kind of storm. Um, it, things are just better when you're not alone, right? Like if my husband had been here, I probably would have slept through it all because I would have had the comfort in knowing that he was right there beside me. But just being home and being alone, it was really scary. So I'm really grateful that I'm okay. I'm grateful to each and every one of you that you guys um, hopefully are okay. Make sure that you comment below and let me know how you made it through the storm. If you even have a storm, just know that I love you and I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. And I'm going to go ahead and end this here by saying um, I'll see you in the next video. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.